Are you grappling with the challenge of squeezing out the absolute best from your mid-journey adventures? Well, worry no more because in this video, I've got your back. So, you know, I plugged into the depths of mid-journey, explored its secrets, and today I'm here to share the wealth of knowledge I've uncovered in this amazing tool, which is mid-journey. So, hey guys, welcome back to Skill Curve. So, if you ever found yourself scratching your head over mid-journey's advanced features, you're in for a treat in this video because this isn't just another tutorial. It's basically a roadmap to unleashing the full potential of mid-journey's advanced setting. So, you know, by the end of this video, you'll be equipped with the insider secrets to craft the most stunning images imaginable. So, you know, sit back and relax. And by the end, I'll also be showcasing the best example for various prompts, illustrating how each parameter can shape images across all categories, right? So, you know, without further ado, let's dive in and make your mid-journey experience a masterpiece for you. All right, so let's start by our understanding the key parameters that play a crucial role in shaping your mid-journey's creation. So, you know, whether you are working on styles, art, weight adjustment, quality enhancement, or even controlling chaos, mid-journey basically provides a variety of parameters to customize your images. So, you know, we'll explore each one in detail, all right? All right, so the first a parameter that I have is stylized. So, stylized is the key to giving your artwork a unique touch. So, you know, today I'll show you how to navigate through different stylization options and demonstrate the impact they have on your creations, okay? So, first of all, if you go ahead and go to uh, the settings of mid-journey, and if I press enter, so here you can see you can find different options for stylized. So, we have stylized low, we have stylized medium, stylized high, and stylized very high. So, you know, from here, you can go ahead and change the settings. I like change the parameter of stylized in your mid-journey. So, I'll basically showing you guys like comparing how the stylized low or medium or how stylized high or very high like we'll be comparing both images of these options and i'll tell you guys like how this amazing parameter can differentiate your images like very very effectively all right so first of all if i go ahead and click on this option stylized low so over here you can see i have choose the option of stylized low and if i can go ahead and select imagine as my prompt and i type in a prompt like a colorful a colorful photography of Apple, okay? And if I can go ahead and enter with the stylized option low. Okay, so as you guys can see right over here, so now, you know, we have a very basic photography, you know, a colorful photography of Apple. So hitting the option stylized low, so this looks uh, a lot like 2D. So if I can go ahead and go to my settings once again, and this time I chose option like stylized very high. So now let's just go ahead and compare like how uh, just this quick setting can change the factiveness of your prompt, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and write in the same prompt over here, which was a colorful photography of Apple. And this time our stylize is very high. Let's go ahead and wait for that. All right, so now take a look at that. So check the detail of this image. You know, this is the Apple so we can see you know, the details of water droplets over here as well. Then we have two apples like chain, check out the colors and check out the minute details in this picture. So, you know, uh, this was our image before. So it was very, very simple. We have just an apple. So it looks uh, quite like 2D image. But after clicking on the stylized very high option. So now we can go ahead and create like stunning images with absolutely perfect details. Okay, so, you know, this little parameter uh, can really help you to get the perfect output for your next image if you want, okay? Okay, so now let's just go ahead and discuss our second parameter, which is weight. So weight basically determines uh, the prominence of different elements in your image. So, you know, discover how tweaking the weight parameter can bring focus to uh, specific details to create a balanced composition in your image. All right, so for the image weight, let's just say I go ahead and enter the image of Mona Lisa over here. So, you know, with image weight, I'll be playing uh, with a human faces now. So first of all, let's just say if I go ahead and copy the link of this image, come to my image prompt and paste it right over here. And after that, so for the image weight, you just need to give space and two dashes. Then you need to write IW, which will stand for image weight. And after that, you can go ahead and put the values, okay, which ranges from 0 0.5 to 2, okay? So let's just say if I go ahead and put the minimum value and it also be, you know, putting the maximum value just to compare both of these images like how well the image weight performs in our images, okay? So first of all, as I say, I do 0.5 and let's just say uh, instead of Mona Lisa, I want to put any other image, uh, you know, which I'll be basically blending or you can say playing with two images, okay? So I'm like face swapping in this one. So I put any other uh, celebrity image, let's just say I go for Taylor Swift, all right? And now I'm just gonna go ahead and hit enter. Uh, to see the output for our image weight, uh, which is 0.5, okay? 
So now let me just go ahead and copy this once again. And you don't know, just do it with my imagine prompt again. And this time for the image weight, I'll be providing two. Okay, so all the way from 0.5 to two, just to you know compare both of the images, like how well they're gonna perform with just the image weight parameter. Okay, all right. So let me just go ahead and quickly wait for that. All right, so check out these images. So this was the image weight with 0.5. So you know, so with that. It basically has taken the image of Taylor Swift and you know, it had uh, put the Mona Lisa in the background. So it does not uh, work a lot with the face swap that I was looking for. But if I go ahead and tweak my image weight all the way from 0 0.5 to 2. So now you can see it has basically played the face of Mona Lisa and it just took all the details and you know, just swap the face of Mona Lisa with Taylor Swift. So you know, this is how the image weight parameter works in our images. So if you kept it low, it won't help you a lot in the face swap, but if you kept it all the way to high, so you know, it will uh, have a good impact on your images for face swapping, all right? Okay, so now let's talk about the next parameter, which is quality. So quality is essential for uh, achieving sharp and clear images. So I'll guide you through the quality settings to ensure your mid-journey creations uh, meet the highest standards, okay? All right, so for the quality parameter, let's just go ahead and be very straightforward. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit imagine prompt once again, and in that, Let's just say I want a simple prompt and for that uh, we're gonna do like a robotic arm, okay? And after that, you know, for that you need to go ahead and give two spaces and you need to hit Q, so Q stands for quality. So you know the quality values ranges from like 0 0.25 to all the way one, which is a standard. So first of all, you know, we'll be comparing the lowest and the highest one. So first of all, I'm gonna do that with a 0.25 and I'm gonna hit enter and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the same prompt once again, but this time, uh, I'm gonna do one instead of 0.25, all right? All right, so check this out. So this was a robotic arm uh, with quality 0.25. So if I open this image so you can see, you know, if I uh, go ahead and look closely, so this looks very grainy. We don't have any much details in that. So, you know, like uh, it's a simple arm, so there are not much detail in that. So let's just go ahead and see uh, the quality one image, which is still processing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wait for that for a bit. All right, so check out this image, you guys. So, you know, this image looks quite amazing. So as you guys can see, we have all the details of the wires of the arm, and you can see I can go ahead and, you know, zoom into the fingers and the details are quite a bit realistic in that. But if I go ahead and look at the 0.25 one, so you can see, you know, these are like very grainy, not too much visible and, you know, it basically requires quite a bit of work in that in order to be like more and more visible. Okay, so this is how uh, the quality parameter works very efficiently in our images. Okay, all right. So the next parameter that we're going to talk about is stop. So stop parameter basically allows to finish image generation part way. So it basically accept values from 10 to 100. So default value is 100. So let me just go ahead and quickly test uh, the stop parameter out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit imagine once again. And I'm gonna type here like a cat in a safari hat in jungle, okay? And for the stop, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit two dashes. And I'm gonna write stop and we'll basically go ahead and do the same, you know, two images. So first one with the least one, so stop 10. And the second image is gonna be uh, with the maximum value. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this prompt again. Uh, you know, do my imagine prompt and paste it right over here. And instead of 10, I'm gonna write now 100. Okay, so let's just go ahead and wait for that to compare both of these images. All right, so take a look at that. So first of all, we have the image of a cat in a safari hat in jungle, stop 10. So it basically with that, it has uh, stopped the processing at 10. So now you can see with this image, there is nothing visible over here. So this looks really, really bad. So now if I go ahead and see the image of the same prompt, but with stop 100. So take a look at this now. A cat in a safari hat in jungle. Check out the detail, check out everything. Like it looks absolutely majestic, right? So you don't, uh, this is how uh, the stop parameter basically works. It basically enhances your images more and more, you know? So now with the help of this stop parameter, you can play with these images. So you can do, go ahead and do like 20, 30, 40, like how much detail you want. But I suggest you go all the way to 100 in order to get the best 
possible output for your images, okay? All right, guys, so now I'm gonna be telling you guys the best output prompts for our different categories, so which will contain portraits, a logo, 3D renders, anime or characters, and landscape and conceptual arts, okay? All right, so first of all, uh, let's jump into the portraits, like which are the best output prompts that you can, you know, input in Mid Journey and get the best possible results, like the images from Mid Journey out of that, okay? So first of all, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to my Mid Journey once again, and in that, I'm gonna write in my uh, perfect prompt to get the perfect portrait picture, right? Which is gonna be professional portrait photograph semicolon semicolon two. So this basically stands for the image weight, okay? So uh, for the portrait photograph, I want the image weight to be two of a young British woman in a jacket with wavy blonde hair. And again, for that, I want the image weight to be four. Beautiful surgical face, cute natural makeup again, semicolon semicolon three. So image weight three this time. Blurry, rainy street, a background, highly detailed, sharp focus, depth of field, you know, focal length, I want 1.8 with 85 mm and aspect ratio, I want 4.5, chaos 10 and stylized 250, all right? So, you know, uh, over here, you can see this is basically the perfect from formula and in a minute, you'll see you can get the perfect image out of this detailed prompt, okay? So this contains like everything that we just did previously in our video, ready to perfect prompt formula, right? So we have medium, scene, uh, like everything, every detail in this particular prompt, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit enter to see the perfect output, like the perfect image out of this perfect input prompt, okay? All right, so take a look at these images. These look absolutely perfect. Like check out the detail, check out the hair, check out the background, like the street background that we want. And you know, these are absolutely perfect images that we get. So our prompt are basically professional portrait photographs. So we have like professional portrait photograph over here of a young British woman in a jacket. So she is wearing a jacket with wavy blonde hair, which is absolutely perfect. Beautiful surgical face, cute natural makeup. So, you know, if I go ahead and upscale any of this image, let's just say I want to upscale the fourth images because it looks absolutely perfect. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so now check out the output image of a perfect prompt, right? So this looks absolutely majestic, right? So it has all the detailed, Everything she sees wearing a jacket, she has a blonde baby hair, she's cute natural makeup, and you know, uh, the background looks absolutely perfect. So this looks like a professional photograph uh, that we input in our prompt, okay? So you know, uh, this is basically uh, the perfect prompt for uh, the portraits that you want. So next time if you want portraits of anything you want, so you can go ahead and edit this prompt like I did over here. So you can change that to a you new know, young Indian woman or this is a young Indian man in a jacket with uh, like, let's just do that curly black hair. Okay, a beautiful vertical face, cute natural makeup, blurry, rainy city street background, highly detailed, sharp focus, depth of field. So now let's just go ahead and do that and, you know, see another perfect portrait with the same formula, all right? So you can go ahead and edit that by according to your taste to get the perfect portraits out of mid journey, all right? So, you know, uh, these parameters that such as stylized, chaos, four by five ratio, focal length, then you got image weight. So these will help you a lot in order to get the perfect portraits for your images, okay? All right, so take a look at these images. These look absolutely perfect. So, you know, this special graph of a young Indian man. So, you know, he has black curly hair and, you know, wearing a jacket and street photography. Like, everything seems absolutely perfect for this image that we prompted with Mid Journey, right? So, you know, this is your perfect prompt for portraits. You can go ahead and copy that, edit that by your taste, and get the perfect portraits out of mid journey from now on using just prompts okay all right so now let's jump into our second example which is going to be generating logos so now you're going to generate the perfect logos out of mid journey with the prompt that i'll be telling you today so i'm just going to go ahead and do imagine once again and in that i'm going to write hot coffee uh so the image weight is going to be i know three colorful logo vector two multicolor palette simple background Realistic style, perfect for a modern business. So chaos, I have done 30 and stylized 50 and quality is one. Okay, so this is the prompt for your logos. So over here, uh, you guys can notice I'm trying to generate uh, the logo for my coffee shop business. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and enter to see like either our logo is perfect out of this prompt or not, okay? All right, so take a look at this, you guys. So, you know, it is absolutely perfect. So we have hot coffee colorful logo. So Vector 2, Multicolor Palace, Simple Background, Realistic Style. So it, this looks absolutely perfect for my business. So if I can go ahead and, you know, go to the second one. Let's just upscale the second one. So, you know, you can see uh, we have a coffee which contains colorful, uh, like, steam coming out of that. So, you know, it is all colorful. So that's exactly what I wanted for my business. Now, this is uh, going to be your 
prompt copy this paste it to you and just start in making logos for you whatever you like okay all right so next one uh we're gonna jump into 3d renders okay so now i'm gonna be telling you the perfect prompt for uh generating 3d renders so again i'm gonna go ahead and imagine and over here i'm gonna write in my prompt it is okay so this is a very basic prompt uh, for generating 3d renders so i've written 3d render of a raccoon reading a book on armchair lighting from a lamp realistic unreal engine and chaos so i've only used one parameter which is chaos sense so you know with that you'll see uh it will create you uh the best 3d renders out of this amazing prompt all right so this is our output so now let me just go ahead and quickly upscale one of this image let me just go ahead and do the uh last one uh i think the second one well, might be perfect as well so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that so now take a look at this image this is the beautiful uh 3d render that we want to generate out of mid journey so it contains a raccoon which is reading a book with a lamp on his side and you know this looks absolutely perfect so we have all the details that we want in a 3d render so you know by using uh the given parameter that i told you so this is now your prompt copy it paste it with you and now you can also create 3d renders out of this amazing tool all right so now let's jump into uh the next prompt example which is anime or characters so if you want to generate uh some anime characters with you out of mid journey so it is very simple i'm going to show you the perfect prompt for that as well so now i'm going to hit imagine and over here i'm going to write in my prompt portrait of a skinny anime boy with glasses listening music in the street of rural japanese city anime boy high detail face sunset Relax, pink and purple clouds, stars, soft light, realistic 8K Unreal Engine and quality in just one parameter. But check out the detail in my prompt. So I have mentioned each and everything to create basically the perfect anime character from my prompt. Let's just go ahead and hit enter uh, to see the output for that. All right, so take a look at this. So, you know, now uh, you can create anime out of mid journey as well. So for that, you only need to put this parameter, which is Niji 5. Okay, so, you know, out of that, you can create cool animes so you can go ahead and customize that according to your taste which i provide a skinny anime boy with glasses for that it created me the perfect output like the perfect anime that i wanted okay all right so now last but not least let's jump to uh, the landscape or the concept art okay so now if you want to create a landscapes or concept art you can simply do that as well very easily for that let me just uh, show you the perfect prompt for that as well so first of all again i'm gonna hit imagine and in that i'm gonna write in a prompt digital art of magnificent medieval castle between the hills and fields large panoramic background with dense nature and mountains a grand fortress epic scene fantasy and for that i chose expect ratio three by two okay so in this type of you know prompt it's really important to uh, check out the method right check out the details that i provided literally everything that i want for my landscapes okay so this is really important you need to provide as much detail as you can you know in order to get the perfect landscapes for your images okay so i'm just going to go ahead and wait for that first of all all right guys so here you go check out these beautiful landscapes okay so we have like digital art of a you know magnificent medieval castle between the hills and fields large panoramic background with dense nature and mountains Rainforest, big scene, fantasy, actress, ratio 3 by 2. So if I can go ahead and upscale, let's say the second one. Just check out this image. You know, this looks absolutely beautiful. Like with all the details, all the greenery and, you know, the dense nature and everything. Like this is absolutely perfect landscape that you can achieve from mid journey, right? So, you know, just copy the prompt that I have told you guys, paste it with you and start generating the beautiful landscapes in no time. All right, guys, so there you have it. So these were all the advanced settings, all the advanced parameters. And not only that, I told you guys the perfect prompt examples to get the best images for every category. So, you know, Mastering with Journey it opens up a world of creative possibilities, right? So, yeah, I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in some other one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.